Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about how to preach a memorable sermon. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're going to get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we try and navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the boss man, it's Brady Shearer, and today we're talking about how to preach memorable sermons. We've got three tips for you today, Pro Church Daily listener or viewer, on how to preach more memorable sermons. These are also going to be helpful when it comes to writing email blasts, mm-hmm. social media posts, curating your hosting techniques and your deliverability of announcements. Really, it's universal, uh, universal communication strategies and tactics. We've got three tips for you. I call it the 3S speaking framework, and I use it for every episode of Pro Church Daily. I use it for every blog post I write, every single social media post that I compose. These three S is have helped me greatly when it comes to communicating better and helping capture more attention for the people that I'm communicating to in my audience. I remember the first time that you articulated this to me, that that you shared these three mm. steps, and I realized, uh, looking back, I realized, oh yeah, like this is generally what I've been trying to accomplish with public speaking or what have you, but now that I have these three action steps, I can like use it as like a checklist, you know, like a strategy, like, oh, have I done this? Have I done this? And have I done this? And it's really transformed um, often the way I teach at church. Mm. It's been super helpful to me, and so I'm sure it'll be helpful to all of our listeners. Awesome. The three S framework, let's start with S number one, stories. Mm -hmm. Storytelling is the most powerful form of human communication because it forces our brains to focus and pay attention. And when it comes to delivering your sermon, when it comes to delivering your message in whatever medium that may come through, if you don't have your audience's uh, attention, it doesn't really matter what you're saying because that attention is the first necessary step to delivering your message. And I was just listening to a podcast that I like recently, and it was a marketing expert, Neil Patel, and he was talking about blog posts that he's written. And I'm telling you a story right now, and you're already paying more attention. You see what I did there? Nice. So I was listening to this podcast, Neil Patel. He did this uh, this analysis with some people on his team, looking at all the blog posts that he published. And he separated them by blog posts where he was telling personal stories versus blog posts where he was just talking about steps and strategies and all that stuff. And What he found was the ones where he was telling personal stories earned 12 times more comments than the ones where he was just delivering steps and tactics. Even though Mm -hmm. the ones that were step-based and tactic-based and strategic-based, they had tons of value, but they didn't emotionally resonate as much and they didn't capture as much attention as the ones where he told personal stories. And if you think about Pro Church Daily, a lot of the times I'll start off an episode saying, I got a DM yeah. from a conver- uh, yeah. or I had a conversation with a person in yeah. Pro Church Nation. And the reason I do that is to use that as a springboard to get into the tips and tactics, which I know if you implement them are going to be hugely helpful, but I got to get your attention and buy in first. I've got to get you emotionally invested, and story is the best way to do that. And there's this thing in like sermons where pastors love illustrations. Yeah. <laughs> they love illustrations. I don't get it. I don't understand it. You can look for sermon illustrations. The keyword gets outrageous search volume yeah. every single month. There are dozens of websites that are dedicated to curating copious amounts of sermon illustrations. Yeah. And every time I see that, it drives me bonkers because I'm like, you are substituting the most powerful form of human communication for like a junkie riddle that isn't even true. <laughs> Tell a real story. Right. Stop using illustrations. Yeah, and we see this, I mean, in the the life and ministry of Jesus. We see this all over the place. He was he was traveling all the time and talking to different people groups and from from different backgrounds, different occupations, different races, religions, all that stuff. And the entry point always was a story. And often uh, the truth of what he was talking about, which is our gospel, was like laced within the story. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he would just tell a story um, because he knew uh, as the creator of everything um, that, yeah, this is how I can connect I, this message, my my gospel of truth. This is how I can connect with people um, who don't agree with me and, and who differ from me in in, in race and, and religion and social status and all these things. Um, he, he, he knew that and at storytelling is, is as old as time and will be as old as time. It's, it's not going anywhere anytime soon because we know, like you said, it, it is, you know, the, the, the single form of communication that forces your listener to pay attention. And so that's such a great place to start. 
That is the first S in the 3S speaking framework. S number two is stats. Statistics, data points, research will lend credibility, remove doubt, and shatter objections when it comes to the audience that's listening to you. Now, one side point, as I want to make very clear. If you're going to use statistics and data points, make sure to (laughs) cite your research pastors. We do that with Pro Church Daily. I won't read out the source every single time because we have show notes where we'll have the data that's linked and uh, sourced and cited there. You do not have the same luxury as a speaker. So what you don't want to do is be like, I heard this stat sometime. If you say I heard this stat sometime, (laughs) I'm going to walk up on stage (laughs) and I'm going to throw you off of it because that has been so abused to use this powerful communication like strategy and just completely bastardize it because you're just throwing something out in the air and people are going to take it as truth and gospel when it's not true. So yeah. cite your research and make sure the research that you're using as much as you can is credible research. If the first step in this 3S story uh, framework is stories, and that's all about making something personal, mm-hmm. the stats part is moving from personal to provable. Yeah. And then the third S is moving from provable to practical, and that is steps. Mm-hmm. The third S in the 3S framework is steps. Take something complex, take something gargantuan, colossal, this huge idea that you're trying to communicate in your message, and then reduce it to bite-sized action steps so that someone is already bought in with the story, it's personal, they're emotionally invested, and they believe you because it's provable based on research and data and statistics and whatever type of you know provable evidence that you wanna use, now make it practical where they feel like this is accessible to me. Mm-hmm. It's not just an idea that works in the world, it works in my world, and steps can make that possible, where you take something that seems so huge and you reduce it into something that feels possible for your congregation. You know, we talk about it often. You don't want your church full of passive spectators who are just showing up on a Sunday to listen to what you have to say, walk out the door, come back next week, do it all over again. You want, you you know that what you're saying as a pastor or a teacher or a leader carries so much weight, has so much existential truth behind it and can truly transform somebody's life. And so you don't, don't, don't just want to be speaking to these passive spectators, have it go one in one ear out the other and see again next week. You want active participants who are ready and willing to take a next step so that you can see that personal growth growth, that spiritual growth in their own life, but they can't take a step if you don't give it to them. And so that third S, that next step is, is imperative. Once, once you've, you've connected with them on a, on a level by, by telling a story. And then, then you've said, yeah, like the the truth of this story is, is provable by using stats or by using stats. Sorry. You can say, now let's put this into action. Let's take a next step. Let's, let's act on this and become better people. Let's look more like Jesus tomorrow than we do today. The three S speaking framework S number one, stories, make it personal. S number two, stats, move it from personal to provable. And S number three, steps, move it from provable to practical. And once you've made and preached these memorable sermons, you're going to want to share them with the world. And that's what the Essential Sermon Engine Bundle is for. It's the featured resource for this episode of Pro Church Daily. It's 100% free. And in it is a series of five different resources, resources to help you get your sermons downloaded more, to help you understand podcasting, to help you understand the sermon engine and to help you build your own sermon engine. We've even got quotable Photoshop templates for you to take your sermon, take it into bite-sized quotes, share it with the world on social media. It's 100% free. It's linked in the description of this YouTube show and also in the podcast show notes. And that'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you never miss another one. And don't you dare leave this page until you've liked this video. Smash the like button. Smash it! There it is. Somebody help me, please. Please. Just kind of touched your butt accidentally. (laughs) Hey. See, someone said something, right? That time. Okay. And the first time. Mm Hmm?